downtown Disney. If you look to your left, you see a store. If you look to your right, you see my girlfriend. That's the tour. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are not subscribed, make sure that you hit the bell and the notification button and comment a purple heart down below. I'm super excited for this video because it's all about downtown Disney and my experience. This is going to be a voiceover since the Disney music was quite loud um, and you couldn't really hear me when I was <laughs> looking at my clips. So let's get into it. So first when you arrive, you go to the Simba lot. It's actually all free. This is why we actually went because on Fridays I actually get little short days and we we're like, oh, most likely it will hopefully be not busy. So we went then and it was, turned out really great. Not too many people were there. But yeah, here is the entrance. They share with you guys all the COVID guidelines, what they are doing. You of course have to wear your mask. You go get your temperature checked and then you go into security. And yeah, it was quite quick for us since it was early afternoon on a Friday, but I do hear that it does get really um, busy on the weekends. So one thing to note when you do visit Downtown Disney is to go check to see if your favorite store it does have a mobile waiting line. For example, the one place I really wanted to go was Marceline's Bakery and it took me two and a half hours to get in. No, I did not have to wait in any lines. You just go to a Disney crewmate, give them your phone number and they text you when you're ready. So that's what I did right when I was there and I walked around the whole park and then I was able to go into Marceline's Confections after like two and a half hours later. I couldn't believe how long it took but especially since it only took me 10 minutes within the store to even do anything but honestly it was totally worth it I absolutely loved my caramel apple it was the best thing of my life ever um, you can basically see all my little clips here of what everything looks like they had all their Halloween things they have the caramel popcorn they have the candies the sweets that literally everything it was so amazing the only thing is that I couldn't believe it took two and a half hours <laughs> um, but yes we got a cute little Minnie Mouse caramel apple and a chocolate chip cookie and they tasted so scrumptious uh, 10 out of 10 recommend I will definitely be getting more if I ever come back again so now let's rewind and see what the rest of the park has to offer. So first off, we of course had to walk by the California Adventure and Disneyland opening area. It was so awesome to see all this. Of course, everything is boarded up, um, but it was just, I just love Disney. Like the vibes, the music, everything just makes me so happy. You could just be sitting there and everything is just so magical and fun. This was definitely a great activity for us to do. It was actually one of our cooler days here in Los Angeles. It was like 70 degrees. And like I said, it was a Friday afternoon, so it was really great because not that many people were here. Everyone stayed very to themselves, and it was just, I felt very safe. So the only store we had to wait in line for was the World of Disney, which is their merch store. It's one of the biggest ones here in downtown Disney. As you can see, all the magical things are in here, from merch to little face masks to ears to candy to everything. It was so awesome. Of course, they had all their Halloween goodies. I ended up getting a cute little Minnie and Mickey candy corn little jar, and it was just so cute, and everything was on sale as well. So this store is quite hidden away. This is past the Disneyland and California Adventure area. Um, this is the back lot. It's basically another shop, but a back lot themed. It was really awesome because there are some merchandise that is not found in the world of Disney or in any of the other stores. It was just a fun, different aesthetic, and this one had cute little spooky projections. While we were waiting to get into the candy store, we ended up going to Naples and got this chicken barbecue pizza. So this clip is actually after the candy store and this is how we ended our night. We ended up getting some beignets to bring home from the Jazz Kitchen. They were so scrumptious and so fluffy and it was just so amazing. I will say they were not Mickey shaped, which was kind of a disappointment, but they were still the, the best ever. They were squares, they were good, they were yummy, they were warm. I definitely recommend. 
Thank you guys so much for watching my downtown Disney experience. I had so much fun. This was a really great afternoon pick me up after a long week of working and it was just so much fun. I've never been here before. I always love going to Disney because of their vibes, their music, everything just makes me super happy. One of my favorite characters is Winnie the Pooh so whenever they play that song it just made me so happy. Let me know down below who your favorite Disney character is and I hope you guys have the best day ever and I'll talk to you guys in my next video on Sunday. Bye guys, love you.